So what's good, y'all, man? It's your boy, Red City Boy 23 coming to you guys with another video. So I've been getting a lot of requests to get how to get park badges. How do they work? So I'm going to explain what I do know of the park badges and how it does work. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to say is I'm not 100% sure on how exactly you get. Like, I know I have an idea of how you get them so I'm gonna tell you I got five badges so I'm gonna explain to you how I got those five badges what I did all right so here we go so we're gonna go to my park first of all this is my this is my record right now for anyone who's asking where I'm at I got like 17 losses from fucking getting kicked out of games well you know how 2k servers are but here we go so we're gonna go to my player inventory we're gonna go into no my bad my bad my bad my bad let me back out let me back out we're gonna go to here we go. We're going to go to view 2K card and we're going to go to badges. Okay. I have bone collector. Bone collector is basically, I don't even have ankle breaker yet. Like I've been grinding in my career, but basically we have bone collector. It's a high level ball handler who breaks defenders down when stringing together multiple dribbles. So basically I, what I did was I was just using different, you know, signatures, putting them together and making them like, you know, flow the right way. And I kept doing it. I was doing this like every game and I got bone collector. Once you get bone collector, you're going to be dropping people like you're going to be making people fall, stumble. You're going to have a good time with it. Game point. Game point. I was in a really, really close game. It was like uh, we were going back and forth over and over again. And then. Um, Dunk had passed me the ball and I hit the game winning shot and then it gave me game point. So basically just hit and just keep getting the last shot for that. Um, Iron Man spend less energy than others making athletic moves while playing in my part. So basically, you know, you spend you, the energy that you use. You don't basically your fatigue won't go down as much as everything else will. This I don't know exactly how I got this. I really don't know. I guess because I dribble a lot and it just ended up happening. So I can't really explain that. Road Dog, known for stepping up his game in rival courts. Basically, all I did was streak in different courts. I streaked in different courts, and um, I would go to Rivet. I go to Sunset. You can play with different affiliations. For those who don't know about that, I mean, pretty sure a lot of you guys do know. Besides the ones who don't got the game, but that's all you have to do. Go to other courts, other parks that aren't your own park, and then streak on those courts. Um, winners only can heat up quickly in the midst of winning streaks. Basically, I was I kept winning and winning streaks, obviously. And then you keep winning, keep going on streaks wherever you go, and eventually you'll get this one. And then when you're in the middle of a streak, you'll heat up. So you know you'll catch a current. You'll be you'll be hitting everything, and things are still going. But you you have to start your streak before it activates. So those are my five. You know those are my five badges for a park. And then I have catch and shoot. Which I all I did was just sit there and you know I, I got sat there literally and just spammed X, got the ball, shot the ball. You know you don't even have to make it. You just have to catch the ball and shoot, catch the ball and shoot. Corner specialist was 25, 25 threes in the corner. Limitless, I believe it was like 30, 30 threes. I don't know. I, I think it's 30 threes. You have to. I'm, I'm not sure. 40. I'm sorry. 40 is 40. Correct. It's 40. Limitless range is 40 threes. Um, basically, you just don't want to hug. You do not want to hug the three-point line. You want to be a, like, just don't be on the line. As long as you're like a step away from it, you'll still get limitless range. Just don't hug the line. Then I got mid-range dead eye. You need 60 contested. Basically, go to the free throw line, like literally the free throw line, like where the free throw line, like you're about to shoot a free throw, pump fake. Let the let the, the CPU hit you. When the CPU hits you, um, shoot. And then, you know, just put it on rookie. You can get badges on rookie. I got them on rookie. Um, Dimer, like I told you guys before, you need 300 assists for Dimer. You need 1,200. It was confirmed. You need 1,200 for Hall of Fame Dimer. Flashy passer, just keep spamming circle whenever you get the ball. Um, Lob City passer, just keep throwing oops. Pick and roll, call screens. Um, Pickpocket, I believe it was 75 um, rips, 75 rips. Um, but but you can get you can get dimer you can get dimer lob city and pick and roll maestro at the same time because while you're going for dimer just hold out one call for the screen and then throw a oop and then you'll be passing the ball getting your assist you'll be throwing a oop you know what I mean so it'll all work out and you're calling for a pick so you're gonna get several things for that so you can get pick and roll maestro dimer and motherfucking uh like I said what was the other one oh lob city passer at the same time if you just keep doing that. Um, microwave, you just got to stay hot during the game. Stay hot. Spark plug, that you, everybody gets spark plug. So that's what I have right now. Um, I'm going to update you. By the way, everyone doing the glitch, don't do the glitch. People ask me how, I, how I'm a 96 overall. I had the game early. Um, you can't, don't skip. What I'm going to say, if you want dimer and stuff, you cannot sim games. If you sim games, you're going to mess up. So don't do it. 
But that's my video for today. Any other questions, let me know. You guys have all my information here on my player for everybody who wanted to know. But I'm out of here. It's your motherfucking boy. Lay! Alright, I'm